What's up my little chocolate chips and welcome to JMX Amateur Kitchen. Today we are doing a very special episode where we are participating in the Binging with Babish Family Guy Car Panini Challenge! Oh yeah, peanut butter cup Dorito sausage car panini. And let's crack a Cadbury egg over the whole thing. Try to make a halfway palatable version of this sandwich. Take a picture, tag me on Instagram, hashtag, I don't know, Babish Panini, the winner I choose. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Binging with, uh, J-Mac. Today we're participating in Babish's challenge of trying to make this Vienna sausage, Cadbury egg, Dorito, Reese's peanut butter cup panini edible. First, let's grab our nacho cheese flavored Doritos, open them up, and put them in the food processor. Realize your voice isn't nearly as soothing as Babish's. Lower it down and freak out because you sound like Satan's uncle. Instead of canned Vienna sausage, we're gonna use chorizo. Cut the skin and extract the meat. Next, instead of a Cadbury egg, how about we use a regular one? I know, that's a stretch. And let's throw in a quarter cup of our Dorito breadcrumb mix. Roll up your bracelets and start mixing. And surprise yourself with how good it smells. Lightly grease a baking sheet with oil and start rolling your chorizo mixture into one and a half to two inch meatballs. Roll them out and place them into a 400 degree oven trying not to burn yourself. Realize this is a cold pan so that didn't make sense. Cook for eight minutes before flipping them over. Cook for another eight minutes, take them out and put your chorizo Dorito meatballs off to the side. Now contemplate how you're going to incorporate the Reese's and Cadbury egg until you drive yourself completely mad to which an idea should form. With all this chocolate and peanut butter action, let's make a lazy mole-esque sauce. Grab a saucepan and pour in half a cup of chicken broth and half a can of tomato sauce. Let's take the chocolate idea from the Reese's and Cadbury egg and add in a quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Since we don't have Reese's, we're going to add in some creamy peanut butter. To that, let's add chili powder, cumin, oregano, cinnamon, nutmeg, and two cloves of minced garlic. Realize that you don't have a portable burner and break Babbage style for just a second. Cook your sauce on medium low heat for 15 minutes, salt and pepper and cook for an additional minute. Babbage style re-engage. Do the panini clap and let's assemble. Generously butter a piece of sourdough bread, place butter side down and throw on five of our chorizo Dorito meatballs. Do you know what else is white and creamy like the inside of a Cadbury egg? Mozzarella cheese. Get your mind out of the gutter, you nasty. Finish that off with some baby spinach because every panini needs some foliage and top it off with another piece of sourdough bread butter side up. Close down the griddle and cook on high for six minutes. Do a weird dance in the background and a truss fall or two and we're ready to go. It would be an utter food sin if we came this far and didn't do the classic babish cut down the middle and reveal. Woo! Eat that piece of broken bread before anyone notices and reveal. Let's finish that off with a side of our super lazy not mole sauce and give it a try. Mmm, this is actually really good. The chorizo Dorito meatballs pair super well with our chocolate peanut butter dipping sauce. The Dorito acts as a nice breadcrumb with our meatballs. The chocolate from our Cadbury egg and Reese's along with the peanut butter makes for a really nice unique flavor that actually works and resembles something of a mole sauce. And as you can see, is a part of our clean plate club. Now let's make another one quick and go out to my hoopty to take some pictures to submit to Babish's Instagram, pound sign, I mean hashtag, Babish Panini. All right, let's throw those up on his Instagram page. And we probably won't win, I mean, realistically. But you know what? We had a ton of fun doing this. Binge with Babish is a huge inspiration to our little YouTube cooking channel. It was just cool to participate in a challenge that he put on. Now if you guys haven't seen his Carpanini challenge episode, check out that link above. His channel is freaking awesome. If you guys like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding the little notification bell. We're doing new videos every week. Also smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what recipes you guys want to see or just say what's up. Thank you. Now baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs.